this. Six of spades, six of diamonds, four of clubs. I decide to see that here. I know this is like risque, but what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the World Series of Poker $600 deep stack. This is gonna be a fun one. You start with 30,000 chips. It's 40 minute levels on day one, and then day two through four, it goes up to 60 minute levels. So it's a pretty good structure. I think first place in the last one was like 250,000 and the numbers have been exploding at the World Series this year. Um, so I expect it to be like somewhere around 300,000, 350 for first. So it's gonna be a good one. Uh, I am going to be going to lunch with Bobby Boy. We haven't had a proper lunch yet today. So we are gonna head to our favorite restaurant, well, our favorite Thai restaurant here in the area and head down to Bally's to play, okay. Excited. I'm hungry. This place has the best Thai food. It's like tapas, deliciousness. Let's just sit down. Oh, yes. Coconut seafood Don't curry. Don't touch my food. Camera eats first. Eat up. Yum, yum, yum. All right, everybody. So we are in route. We had a delicious <laughs> meal and a frozen yogurt because sometimes it's okay. Give your body what it wants. Not what it needs, but what it wants. Right, Bobby Boy? Um, yes. <laughs> so, does that include things like cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you would think that he scripted these comments and responses, but no, that's that's fresh off the dome. Yeah, that's open. And it doesn't get any better. <laughs> anyway, we thought we would do something fun today and you know, we get such a kick out of your guys' comments and we literally read and, and respond to practically every single one of them. Um, so we thought we would read some of the funny ones. Yeah, so let's start. Maybe some mean ones. And maybe some mean ones, okay. Okay, this one is from Teresa Katranek. And she goes, so funny when Bob said, I just make up hands to tell her and it sounds like I'm playing well. I'd love to get in on the Instagram money giveaways but don't have an Instagram account. So yeah, sometimes when Bob's playing a tournament, I'll be like, hey, how did the action on that hand go? He'll just like go to Poker Go and find like a hand played by Alex Foxen or Chance Corneth and just like pretty much steal their hand just to make it sound like he's better than he is. And what's funny is I'll do it like a hand that Alex Fox had just won his gold bracelet with and you'll come back with. I don't like the way you played that. <laughs> <laughs> no, disagree. Uh, so that one was funny. Uh, this one is from 3SIX9. That's her name on, on YouTube. So when using BTO, reverse reverse implied odds and variance what? I was trying to listen to the lesson but didn't catch it all. Hashtag Bob Theory Optimal. <laughs> I like that. So Bob has his way of, you know, playing poker hands and we have ours and I play Who's we? GTO. Who's we? Me and There's more people watching this that play the way I play than play the way you play. Well, the way I play is, you know, a little more GTO or Game Theory Optimal and Bob plays Boring. Bob Theory Optimal. Fun. Fun. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, this one is from Inertia. He goes, hashtag please no more hashtags. Oh man. Oh. Um, hashtag. Shut no. Up. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag shut up. Yeah, hashtag. hashtag shut up. We're going to keep hashtagging the hashtagging yeah. shit out of these hashtags. Maybe you should get your own YouTube channel called No Hashtags. Hashtag No Hashtag. Yeah. Okay. And see how many viewers you get. You're done. You're done. You're out. <laughs> Unless you want to share a video, then you can win up to $10,000. Yes, that's true. Then you're that's back true. in. That's true. That's true. Okay, this one is from Be Shady. I absolutely love the vlog, Lexi. Will you say my name in tomorrow's vlog? LOL, shout out. Prayer <laughs> hands, heart eyes. Of course, Be Shady. I wish I knew your real name because I would say your real name, but thank you for watching the vlog. Why do you need to know his real name? He's shady. <laughs> He's shady. He's well, shady. Wouldn't... So Be Shady, there's your shout out. Um, okay, and then this last one uh, says, this one was from Joshua Shunover. Hold on. He goes, 
I was a big fan of the vlog, not so sure anymore. I saw Lexi and Bob in line at Late Rush for Colossus. The line wasn't moving, so I went to introduce myself and say hi. They said hi back, but it was weird. I felt uncomfortable, like I had done something wrong. <laughs> Unless I am missing something, it just felt like I was not welcome or worthy to be in their presence, and they didn't want to be bothered with a nobody like me. It was a bad experience, a bit off-putting. Oh well, that's a luck to them, but lost my interest. I would tell viewers, maybe don't approach them or you might be disappointed. So many people replied to that. I know, so about, many of you came to our Including one defense. guy who was there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, he said he was there and he saw it. It wasn't like that at all. <laughs> so, I don't know, I mean, I think one of my favorite parts of doing this vlog is meeting all of you guys and meeting the fans and taking pictures with you guys and saying hello. I mean, it's, I, it just makes me feel good every single time. and and. We post so many of the pictures that we take with people and you see our reactions like we're so happy to meet all of you so I'm sorry maybe you know we were in the middle of a deep conversation or I don't know what was going on but um, I'm old it could be anything if you come up to me and I got a weird look on my face I'm old you know maybe I've got a fart or something I was gonna you say know? you yeah. might have to poo guys we love you please come up and say hi and Joshua I'm sorry you got the wrong impression of us because I I mean, that's not our style at all. We love meeting all of you and we appreciate all of your support. That wraps up the uh, comments section of the vlog. Let's head down to Bally's. We're almost there. Got anything else to say, Bobby boy? Everything, I just had some sugar. So Ugh. anything I would say at this point would not be approved <laughs> by you. The, Look at this. The, 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 yeah, two spoons. I said I didn't want any, and he got two spoons, and of course I ate half of it. Hashtag no more chocolate. <laughs> Hashtag bye. <laughs> Here we are again. Back for more pain. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're fine. That's totally cool. <laughs> Alright. Paris one time. Actually, I don't want to use my one time on that. Scratch that. Valley's Valley's orange. Okay. It's okay. We had our last cash in Valley. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Off to Valley's we go. And of course, we have to wait online to get our chips because we're always late. I've been in this room so much that I feel like I would recognize if like one thing was different, like if they switched a table or if they added a statue, like I feel like I live here. <sighs> We're halfway through. It's almost the, it's almost the main event. That's crazy. Okay. Catch up with you guys when I get sad. Oh, Rania. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kisses for me. Morning, Mark. You raised the seat. You too. Raise, all in, call. Always a sweat, no king. Thank you. How much was the gym? Do you know the gym? 14 So, Bobby, tell me what happened last night. You had a good stat. What the fuck do you think happened, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, seriously, you like come over here. This is what it. Do I know. What, what do like I know? what? It's a poker tournament. What do you think happened? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best. Hey, okay, just like he doesn't give a shit. Uh, okay, well, I'm big blinds, oh, I, well. I mean, you're a head leader. Oh no, it's a leader by. All right, it's a classic flip. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, oh my god, I don't even have a sweat. I need a nine. Okay. <laughs> Wow, they've been. Yeah. Yeah, he made it to the vlog. That's wacky. Press if you show a bluff. 
Holds around to the big blind, the big blind calls. The flops, king three, two, two hearts. I have king seven of diamonds. She donk leads for the size of the pot, like little under the size of the pot. And this is like a nice older lady. She likes the vlogs, but I haven't quite figured her out yet. So, and she had a stock, she had me covered. So she donk leads the size of, almost the size of the pot. And I think for a bit and I call. Um, the turn was the ace of spades. She bets again huge. She bets like 75% pot. And so my thought process here is when she dunk leads the flop for that size, I feel like it's just really like bluffy. Like I don't think that she really has any two pairs unless she has like king three suited or king two suited, which she should probably be holding pre flop. Plus I have a king blocker. So I think it's gonna be like a lot of flush draws. It could be four or five that did get there on the turn because the ace of spades came on the turn. She, sh I don't know, it just like seemed really weird. I feel like it's like sometimes like pocket eights or like some kind of middling pair that she doesn't really know how to play out of position, I don't know. So whatever, so I call the turn again. The river was a 10 of clubs and she shoves. And I thought for a while, like, is she ever bluffing here? Like, does she ever have bricked hearts? I mean, she could have four or five. Like, she could be dunk leading the flop with four or five. I don't think she has sets. Like, I don't think she has, a, like, deuces or threes because I don't think she would lead the flop with that sizing. So, whatever. I thought for a while and I wound up making the fold. And she was nice enough to show me that she flopped top set of kings. So... I definitely didn't think she was that strong. You know, she didn't three bet free flop and I, I didn't think she'd be donking almost the size of the pot on a flop, but she did. She played it. I mean, she almost got a call out of me, so I guess she played it well. Yeah, just crazy. <laughs> so whatever, I'm glad I folded there, but I have 25K and we're coming back to 1500 big blinds, so I can run it up. I'm gonna go up to the room and hang out for a little bit. See you up there. All right, we're back at it. 17 big blinds. Raise, all in for five big ones. I guess. <laughs> Not looking good. Alright, nice to meet you guys. Well, I'm a loser. Is what it is. Got short. Had five big wines there. And I'm out. I honestly think I'm gonna be taking tomorrow off. There's really nothing for me to play tomorrow. The seat the super seniors is tomorrow, so. There's nothing going on, but there is an online event that I am probably gonna play from home. So maybe we can do a home vlog playing online or something. I don't know, might just take the day easy. We'll see. All right, so I am home now and I figured we would talk about one of the hands that I played. This one was a little bit questionable and I'd like your feedback. So, the blinds are 400, 800, 800. I raise nine eight of spades under the gun to 1800. I got a bunch of callers, middle position, cutoff button, and small blind all call. So there's like 10,600 in the pot. So I have nine eight of spades. The flop is six of spades, six of diamonds, four of clubs. I decide to see bet here. I know this is like risque, but I'm a really big fan of 
If it's close between a check or a small bet, I like to go for the small bet. And you know, in this situation, I do have some backdoor equity. I have backdoor uh, flush draw, backdoor straight draw, and I do have two overs. Uh, and I am blocking some of their calling range, like pocket nines and eights and things like that. I think a lot of their high pairs are gonna be three betting preflop, so I kinda think it's a good spot. So I bet really small, I bet 1100. Everyone folds but the small blind, and the small blind was the last person in the hand, so I feel like when I bet really small there, he's gonna have a very wide calling range. Like I think he might even call me with some ace highs or king highs with backdoor flush or something. Uh, so, small blind calls. The turn is the five of hearts, so I've turned equity now. I do have a gut shot for a straight, and we don't see bet the flop to check a turn that brings us equity in that spot. Especially, like I said, because we bet so small, I do think he's gonna have a lot of like floats on that flop. We bet 4,800 and he folds. Um, I do like that I'm blocking some of his calling range like pocket nines and pocket eights. Um, he shouldn't really have like too many six X combos that he's flatting from the small blind. Um, I mean, he certainly could, but you know, he, I mean, maybe it had like a six suited or six, seven suited maybe, but really that's it. Um, so yeah, that actually worked out, but you know, there, you can definitely, I definitely could have just like checked the flop and, and gave up, but we decided to go for the gold and we did. Um, just not our day. I think that, you know, registering late has advantages, but it also puts me at a disadvantage because I am starting shorter stacked. Um, and the shorter the effect of stacks, the kind of higher variance and more of a gamble it is. So it's just hard. You know, a lot of you in the comments are saying, why don't you start on time? Like you, you need to start on time. Well, yeah, I, I agree to some degree, but it's hard when you're playing every day. You know, I'm, I'm literally in there every day and I'm playing till, you know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the morning. The annoying thing is that I'm busting these tournaments really late. I'm, I'm busting an hour before the money or an hour before bagging and it's just, you know, it's maximum pain. I'm, play, I'm playing so late that it's a lot and uh, I'm only human. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you all so much. I tell you, I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate your support. The contest still stands. Bob and I are gonna be giving away 1% of the next tournament that we cash to a random subscriber. All you have to do is uh, share a link to my video on your social media, hashtag Lexi Gavin Poker uh, on your social media post so that I can easily search you. And then comment down below that you entered or submitted the contest and we're gonna pick a winner from the comments. We are guaranteeing a minimum of $100 all the way up to $10,000 or 1% of whatever we cash. So thanks again, guys. I love you all. I'm going to get some sleep and I will see you tomorrow. I am, I am going to play that $500 turbo online bracelet event. So it's going to be fun and I will take you with me. I promise. <laughs> okay. Have a good night guys. Bye.